do I even start from? <laughs> Guys, you're welcome back to my channel. And after many years, my husband and I relocated from North Cyprus to an even smaller island, Malta in Europe. And we've been on this for quite some time now for a couple of months even though i didn't record all the processes prior to us getting the visa i will make another video on every on everything the application process how we even concluded on malta and everything that we had to do to get our visas but this is just a relocation vlog containing our packing, heading to the airport and arriving at our destination and I hope you enjoyed this one. Please watch the video to the end, leave a comment, like the video as well, I look forward to responding to the comment i know many people are going to message me and i'm ready <laughs> you, you're not gonna believe this on the day that we are traveling the elevator decided to stop working and we're living on the top floor after we took our boxes downstairs i just did a little video of the house almost empty and honestly i'm going to miss this apartment so much and i would actually recommend this apartment for a newly wedded couple a new family there's just enough space and i think it's just ideal for that kind of setting i'm going to miss it so much <laughs> Guys, heading to the airport. Honestly, my husband and I, we know how to conceal emotions because it was like it was really hard. Some friends, some family came to visit us that day, the day before, and there were tears here and there. But like, it almost had to be so strong because <laughs> ah, I didn't want any breaking down and you crying and the tears like it wasn't going to be easy but we just tried our best sha and then just heading to the airport and the taxi oh, we just i personally was just thinking about everything you know my many years here all the experiences all the friends we made you know just everything just everything and we are really grateful for all these years we are grateful for what life has taught us we are grateful for the challenges we are grateful for the families we made we are grateful for the blessings as well and we definitely definitely look forward to what the future holds and I know that it's going to be really beautiful
Expensive here that when they buy from Turkey, they buy it at the, at the real price, uh -huh. and then they ship like 60 TVs, a lot of laptops, uh -huh. and they pay very low shipping rates because they are, they are making money. Involved, yeah. And that guy was a thief, yeah, yeah. It's okay. One zero. You really want zero, Sha? Because you really, you really, uh -uh. something that's supposed to die 300. Dollars of yeah. euros, he, he multiplied it. He even made he, he, his own over, over That's time. That's why sales are slow for them. He doesn't know why. He doesn't know. It's because of that. I didn't know the ones that sold broken chair to me. Yeah. So everybody will receive their own shipping, their own fair share of shaking. Because it's not cost, so it's not cost. It's just, no, no. It's just, it's it's just you, 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 you sow a seed. Express yourself, baby. <laughs> You paid 30 kg extra luggage. And our extra luggage came to only 17 kg. Came to only 17 kg. Um, I'm in tears. That's big money, so. One kilo is 230 tears. So, so how much is that now? The, the refund that they're owing us? Yes. They're owing us 4,300 The whole 4,300 yes. And if it's the only thing I do in Istanbul, yeah. I'm not going to sleep. So you're not going to grieve for anybody? Yeah, no, uh, no that, <laughs> that one is for sure, that one is standard. With the other things that I'm going to continue, but not grieve for anybody. Standard. Standard. Ah. I want to come. Where is the other one? This is the culprit. Yeah, you guys, please, if you see this thing. G pass. We were measuring things. So I have is, video of, is, of measuring things. Thank God. If you see, if you if you see this in, in the market, even if they want to give you for free, please run. Just run. Find another way. It's better if you even use your imagination to measure the thing. If you and we had one seven point five kg dumbbell in the house, so she would have just used it. Say, ah, no, this one is weighing this dumbbell times three. As well, sorry. I don't know why this guy is going to this place. They specifically put KKTC, that is for TRNC citizens. This man is going there. Eh? What is this? Babe, are you, a, are you a Turkish citizen? Are you a Cypriot? What is going on? Last time we were here, the escalator wasn't working. I remember. Last time we were here, the escalator wasn't working. We have checked in. Let me see. 
That sleep was never slept on. Sleep that I promised myself that I'm going to sleep. It was never slept. Oh, let me show around. My view. My view. Say. Say hi. Oh. Anyway, guys, let me show you my. Where we are. This airport is so empty and it's actually a really big one. But it just seems so we actually checked us in in that place I was making fun of. Miraculously, okay. Maybe it was maybe there was really not, not an issue. So I was trying to record him when the guy there was was sounding so salty. The guy there was like, "Hey, what did he what did he even say? No recording or something, something." And she said, "Oh, okay." The guy was trying to give me attitude as if I'm the cause of his problems. My color combination is like is combinating. At this point, we were in Istanbul and I was giving praise to God because I didn't see a lot of people. It just seemed like I mean, because we flew in the middle of the night, there wasn't a lot of crowd and I was happy. Little did I know that I hadn't even gotten to the main airport. And trust me, Istanbul airport gets on my nerves every time. It's so far like you have to have enough energy to walk from one point to the other just then God shot that we made it and I was so sleepy throughout this flight I was so sleepy I don't know if I want to do this thing again to fly in the middle of the night I'm not sure <laughs> to fly in the middle of the night but the idea that we had was that if you fly in the night we get there in the morning and then we have a whole day instead of landing in the afternoon or in the evening and then that day is already gone
At this point, we came back to bed then because we really needed to sleep and because we came here very early, it wasn't yet time to check in. Finally, we checked in, we got some rest and in the night, we came out back to the mall to grab some groceries that we are going to use to cook in the hotel. and this brings me to the end of the vlog this is the next day we actually went on a hop on up of bus just for a quick tour okay it wasn't it wasn't that quick it was three hours but just trying to familiarize the whole with the place and trust me guys this is a very beautiful country it's a small one <laughs> but it's also so crowded there's lots of people here but in the coming vlog, I'll be taking you around my activities in this country, my experiences, and just everything about my stay in Malta. So please stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.